through AAA. You could save an average of $483. Call 866-460-1299 for your free AAA full picture quote. The Farmer's Chop Cobb Salad from Farmer Boys, loaded with all-natural chicken, egg, cheddar, avocado, and bacon. A hearty meal for a little green. Farmer Boys, farm food ain't fast food. Extreme heat this Labor Day. Scorching temps across the Southland that could reach triple digits. Know before you go with Good Day LA's Futurecast, Monday, 4 to 11 on Fox 11. Now, this is the Fox 11 News at 6. Four days into a massive heat wave, one local city is warning residents about potential rolling blackouts. The heat presents a problem for high school football teams, how players in the hottest parts of Southern California are dealing with it. And new at 6, one Compton teenager helping young tennis players in a hometown she shares with Serena Williams as she draws inspiration from the champion. But first, we are on top of breaking news from Northern California. City official in the town of Weed in Sisakyu County says that multiple homes have been destroyed by a wildfire that started in a nearby lumber mill this afternoon. California fire officials says several people have been injured. The mill fire has burned more than 500 acres. It is spreading fast. More than 7,500 people are under a mandatory evacuation. And that includes all 2,600 people who live in Weed. That town is located about 50 miles south of the Oregon border. Yeah, we have hot temperatures and fire danger all up and down California this weekend. Welcome to the Fox 11 News at 6. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Marlon Tejas here for Christine Devine. Day four of an intense heat wave all all across Southern California, another day of 100 degree plus temps and rising concerns about the potential for power outages. We have team coverage of the heat wave. Phil Schumann in Glendale with concerns about uh, power and rolling blackouts. Hal Eisner in Norco with more on how high school sports are dealing with the heat. But let's start with Rick Dicker in the forecast. And we mentioned how the entire state is under this uh, extreme heat wave, excessive heat warnings up and down through the Central Valley and into the Southern California region. Region. And I'm putting together a graphic here because I want to show you, and that, that's not the graphic I want to show you uh, right now, but I want to show you what's going to be happening at the Rose Bowl, at the Coliseum, as we move towards this weekend. Uh, and uh, temperatures across Southern California are going to be into the 90s, triple digits again. We're going to see that excessive heat warning continue today. Downtown LA topped off at another 96 degree high temperature. That was the hottest day, including yesterday, since October of 2020. Yeah, not a record, though. You can see that the record high was 103 degrees. That was set back in uh, 1988. Seven-day outlook will show that this heat, today's day four of day eight, 113 degrees on Sunday for the valleys and IE. That will be the hottest day of this period, but you can see the hottest spots will remain at or above 100 degrees all the way through Friday. All right, more weather coming up. All right, Rick, thanks. As this year's worst heat wave envelops the Southland, there's a tremendous strain on our power supply. Box Office Phil Schumann is in Glendale, where residents are facing potential rolling outages if they don't cut back. Phil. Well, that's right. That's one of the strategies that uh, communities use throughout Southern California. We're at uh, the community center here in Glendale, one of many community uh, locations where people are invited to beat the heat as they hopefully turn down or off the air conditioning during the day. Once again, triple digits. This is Glendale. The key words here, power conservation. That will help avoid the very real possibility of forced rolling power outages. I just turned on the AC.